to think of one thing than uh, two or three things. Uh, Professor Paul Lewandowski from the School of Medicine at Deakin University and Dr. Ron McCoy from the Royal Australian College of General Practitioners. Thank you both very much. Hi, Thank You're welcome. Thank you. Bye-bye. You tuned to Radio Australia. Let's quickly just uh, look through your weather just before uh, we send alarm to take a look at what's going to be on the planet on Asia Pacific in just uh, a little bit after the news. In uh, Dilly, we've got rain 29 degrees. Mostly chance of thunderstorms 30 degrees. In May, heavy showers, especially tonight, 26 degrees. Shiva, chance of rain 28 degrees. In Apia, possible thunder showers 30 degrees. Port Villa, mostly clear 24. Nukualo, thunder showers 27. If you're in Penn, pretty warm, possibly wet, chance of thunderstorms 35. Siem Reap, chance of thunder showers 34. Yanoville, showers tonight 30 degrees. Tian, very wet. Big chance of thunder showers, 32 degrees. With that, Senator Lam, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Well, first of all, we're kicking off today with a big story, uh, not just in PNG, but possibly the, the region. Um, that's the growing political turmoil there in Port Moresby, with the Prime Minister taking the extraordinary step of uh, second couple of cabinet ministers, the attorney, his Attorney General, and then uh, yesterday uh, dismantling the uh, task force that was uh, charged with um, uh, getting rid of corruption in the country. So I don't know that it's many so funny because we spoke to Transparency International mm. PNG earlier on today, and so it's just another day at the office. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So, um, but for the people of PNG, I imagine it'd be quite disheartening to have yeah. to take one step forward and then two steps back. We're also looking at Afghanistan, where the leading presidential candidate Abdullah Abdullah is crying foul, and he wants an immediate stop to the vote counting because the alleged uh, uh, ballot box stuffing uh, by supporters uh, of his opponent. Now, his opponent, of course, uh, is the uh, former World Bank economist Ashraf Ghani. I might point out that both men are, are highly respected, and if there's any fraud at all, it might it probably wouldn't be because of them. It would be some low-level. Um, uh, supporting, uh, getting a little bit over enthusiastic as we can So, looking at that and what it means, because this is a year, of course, come December, most of the foreign troops would have pulled out. So, will the uh, Taliban try to exploit uh, the current situation? Interesting part of the Taliban hosting Asia Pacific, which is coming up straight after the news. It's Then you're listening to the latest news on the voice of America. I'm the to say this is Washington, and we all are going to get this thing. That's the truth, and we're going to get this thing. 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 We're going to get Hello, 